Hey everyone, Fisherman here from Reaper's Squadron Gaming. Um, it's been a busy year, but it's been a lot of fun. So I thought I'd do a quick tournament wrap up from where uh, was it? April, a few months ago. It was um, a doubles tournament called Jewel of Fates, run by an amazing TO, David. Um, won't give you all the details, but he ran a great event. We got to do some great alliances, um, and I took my ally, uh, brother in arms, Mr. Mortal. We went and fought hard together. We had a Lake Town Radagast Alliance sort of combo. So he was bringing um, some uh, Bard, um, the girls, uh, Hilda and Percy and some Warriors. And I took Ratty and three um, Eagles. And the whole goal was get Lake Town into the fight and get the Eagles to come and rescue um, with their, you know, Fly 12 and the, the fast Radagast on Slay to come in and help out. It was a great day. Um, I'll give you a rundown, show you parts of it, and then I'll let you know how we went at the end. Hey, Mr. Mortal. Oh, wait, what? What mission are we playing? Uh, Jewel of Wits. Jewel of Wits. This is what we're looking at. I'm just gonna go with our eagles and uh, lay down. Come up against uh, one, two, two chariots. Doing here. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So this is Mono, this is Dylan, and uh, we're gonna have a great game. Getting into some deployment on a board I've seen many times. This is the beginning of round one. I'll see if I can remember to get all of these rounds in because I always forget after the first video. Then everything's all awesome. yeah. just gonna go to there. And so, do you want to explain this? Doing it is really yeah. We've lost five. We've yeah. lost five. And doing here just as well, well, to make it. Well, well, these models are not so so you can do a like an object or something. You have a, um, it just moves. They, they, move. they move because that's a move. Yeah. I'm picking this order. Uh, Recap on this first game is at eight nil to the Lake Town Eagles uh, boys. My team is here. Yeah, Alfred survived. Doing here survived. So we, we get to tick that off. Thanks for a great game, Miles. Doing. Love. Hope you enjoyed learning. Yeah. We had lots of fun. Just pick out the better. Leg up. Game two, we've got uh, ben, ben, Collier, and Carl, Carl. Yeah. and Josh. And we're going to play a uh, mission here. We've got people in the middle. We're coming in with Maelstrom. Um, should be pretty crazy. Gua here is coming to kill his own eagles eventually. But should be a good game. Thanks for playing. See how it goes. Bit of a slog fest. It's so janky, isn't it? So hard. It's so hard. Uh, He's in the great beast mode. Yes. It's horrible. Okay. You got it. Don't worry about it. You got it. Okay. Multiple wounds. Uh, two wounds. So they get plus one. So these are on fives. Fours. Yep. Oh, fucked it! Oh, no! What? Oh, no! Do I just spend all... What number did you need again? Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Yeah, Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Fates reroll. Oh, yeah. I did say that. I, I do. Yeah, but I oh, do. You don't. Oh, no. This is all laughing at me. This is just pure laughter at me. Oh, I'm so sad. Fisherman signing off forever. Yeah. Game two ended up being like 11 1 to uh, our Lake Town. Uh, we just hadn't wounded Durin, but we managed to get all the objectives. Um, yeah, got a bit fired up, as I always do. Got to try and remain calm, argue if it matters, and roll off if it doesn't. Uh, good advice for everyone, but lucky Josh is keeping me calm over here. So far, so good. Game three, Fog of War. We have uh, seen two awesome. You guys, brothers? No, cousins. Cousins? Jacob and Evan, thanks for playing. Wow. We've got some beautifully painted ideas. Who painted them? I mean. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, they, they hold up. Man. He's like six years old, most of them, except for the three goat, the two goat heroes. Six years, they have held up pretty well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Big, ratty sized hole in the middle right here. Super sad. Pointing to them. Clashing on sides. Not gonna lie, I think I'm baking you really well. I have no intentions of going in the fucking houses. If, fair enough. <laughs> but if I set an eagle into Thorin Ends Island, I mean, it was, it was a good tactic, but yeah, I, I never had no intention of filling the fucking houses. I, I ain't a bitch like that. Lol. 
I'd rather risk losing the fucking game than running away like that. So just a quick recap, so game one, um, two players who hadn't planned on uh, coming together with uh, some, um, you know, two Iron Hills chariots, he hadn't used them before, so there's a lot to learn, but a um, great game and we managed to get uh, a bit of magic off and um, we ended up doing what we needed to do to win that one, it was uh, pretty tricky because we were able to move pretty fast and get over to that side of the board, but well done to two awesome opponents. Um, game two was really rough for Carl. Um, probably the worst deployment you could you could go for, and his dwarves were just like trudging towards the center for so long, and it just that never feels good. So it's a good idea in doubles to try and have a, a fast you know um, unit that can always try and reach the other other primary um, war bands or whatever it is. But uh, we were able to do that just a little bit faster because we had the Eagles, so we had pretty much our whole list fighting half of their list, and that's never a good time. So sorry about that, Game Boys. That um, was pretty rough. Um, and then in Game 3, oh, like, in hindsight, we should have done a lot better than we did. Um, uh, Evan just got in my brain. <laughs> so He just absolutely got me thinking about things, and I sh should have stuck to my game plan. So sorry, Mr. Mordor, for letting the team down a little bit there. But I learned heaps, um, and I definitely know how, uh, what not to do next time. But yeah, I uh, I shouldn't have gone for the bait there, and he managed to get too many heroes on on my eagles, and without ready to back them up or or the heroic combat from Bard to come save them, it was just going to be too little too late. So if I had that game again, I'd do it very differently. But um, uh, I'm a little bit of a spoiler is I do end up meeting him again in our next tournament, and um, it's a bit of a doozy of a game as well. So. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, Reaper Squadron is still here. We're still live, but it's a bit busy. There's lots more to come. See you later. Thank you for actually making it a lot easier to admin-wise this round because everyone actually voted correctly, which makes my Wow. Job. Well, you yeah. wrote it down for everyone to vote. Yeah, everyone makes sure. I actually checked for the came through. Yeah. Um, so, thank you very much for like, also dealing with the different style of scoring. It Ooh. did mean... Uh, wooden spoon, the iconic miss of it, it's only like two points difference for wooden spoon. So there is a, the heat of wooden spoon, as they say, was definitely, <laughs> definitely cooking as they would say. Um, and I would like to welcome would say that Dylan too. and Miles to take the wooden spoon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There's only one spoon, you've got to snap him out. That is your fault for giving the man chariots. I'm just saying. It is. No, don't blame the TO. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the next table? Yeah, who was the runner up to. What's the name? Reese and Colin. Oh, you guys suck. Wow. Who came 10th? Go from 10th up. Yeah, yeah. actually, go for you guys to. Oh, yeah, do that. Oh, I'm sorry, I had a time. I'm really keen on getting some ramen, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. food incentivized to get this done quicker. Alright, as you guys know, we always like having great sportsmanship come to our events. And I would really like.
encourage our recent call to come up for best sport. Yeah. Wow, last sports with it gone. Well, that's pretty bad sport. That's actually amazing. That's so funny. <laughs> so, unfortunately, so I just want to congratulate a person who actually did very well in painting, but they've also placed, so they won't be getting the award for painting, so I'll get to that in a bit. But coming up next for painting is Elias and Nia. Well done, well done, Elias. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I got the right there for it. You got the right there for it. It was on the side of me. Elias gets two prizes. <laughs> it was all the backdrop. It was the backdrop. So it's the Spanish way of saying it. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yep. That's what you need. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Liam, is that glass your new display board? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spray green, it's a tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll try the blue, it's a little, it's a little ocean. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please take it in third place. So Both nice. please have Jack and Ethan. Hey. 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 Take the long way around, boys. Maybe there's nerves, get some fucking exercise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in second place, Jack and Ethan. We have Sammy Congrats, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mordor and Fisherman. And our first place we've actually all read to have painted. And then in Jacob. Yeah, that's right. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Love you, boys. <laughs> Not bad for the reading, friend. We've had that talk to us before. When you're done, you can come back and sit here. Yeah. <laughs> I think we oh. should be sitting on there. Yeah, I know. I saw the shit thing. 